Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. As part of the today's lecture, we are going to see how exactly we can read the data from a CSV file. So you, we all know that a CSV file is a comma separated values basically. So how exactly we can read that information in Karate framework and how exactly we can use that information in our program, we should know that. So this is what the concept that we have a design basically to read the information from a CSV. So what I'm going to do right now means let me create a new CSV file and place the data inside that. So I'm just entering my data as a name, okay, followed by first name, last name, mobile number, address. So name is a Sudha, first name maybe a Parvi and the last name maybe Sudha, Parvi, something. And the mobile number, something, some value. And the address is some value. Maybe a flat number 101, something like that. Sudha Radha. Okay, so I am entering some random data into this one. Okay, that's fine. So while saving it, let me save with an extension as a CSV file directly a comma separated value. And it's going to be the book 2csv and where I want to save it is rather than saving this file into a different sets of locations, I'm just saving this file within my project itself. So let me identify the project location and directly place this file within my project itself. So here I just placed it a book2.csv in the project location itself. Perfect. Done the deal. Let me go back to my editor. And okay, let me confirm the file got saved or not. Yeah, the file got a save. Let me go to this folder and see books2.csv. It's there. And if you come back here and refresh the folder once, okay, I can see the books2.csv file. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do right now is scenario, read data from a CSV file. And here, what I'm going to do right now, there are multiple ways in order to read the data from a CSV file, but the method that we need to use is a read. Using this read, we can give it as an input basically so that your karate will recognize and read that particular file. So here then, I'm evaluating an expression here stating that data is equal to read from where exactly I want to read it. I want to read it from book 2csv So I'm just specifying that to read it and store it in a data and name it as a data basically. And the content that I want to read it is book 2csv Of course, here I have a book 2csv I'm reading the complete information and I'm storing it here. So whenever we are trying to read the data from a CSV file, basically, the data would be of a JSON format. Okay, your karate will convert that complete CSV into a JSON format. So let me copy this uh, tag name and let me update my tag name in a runner class and let me run this information. Okay, so let us see the console and uh, what exactly it's being printed. So here, basically, the evaluation is a success and it got a pass. So here, what I want to do right now means within the scenario itself, I'm using and print data. Whatever the data content is there, just print it to the console so that we can see whether the data is retrieved or not. I do enter two sets of data into the CSV file. And if you can see that information, it was retrieved as a JSON format. So the ultimate objective here is whenever you are trying to read the data from a CSV file, you know, your karate will convert it into a JSON stuff and the data is formatted within a JSON itself. So this is what the input in a CSV file that you have given, which was converted into a JSON format, guys. Get done the deal.